Now we have from Baghdad the spokesman for the anti-Daesh coalition, uh, Colonel John Dorian. So welcome to Sky News. Uh, now, what phase have the military operations reached in Syria and Iraq? Well, the coalition is supporting our partners in both Syria and Iraq. In Iraq, uh, the Iraqi security forces have made tremendous progress. They've reached the Tigris River. Uh, they've liberated a lot of key areas, including the Mosul University and many of the Nineveh government buildings. Uh, they've made tremendous progress against Daesh, and we've uh, conducted our strikes to support their advances. They've done so. In fact, this past week was our most uh, busy week of conducting strikes. We dropped more than 1,100 uh, bombs on Daesh targets throughout uh, the uh, eastern side of Mosul. In Syria, uh, our forces, uh, our partner forces are making tremendous progress there as well. Uh, this is the Syrian Democratic Forces, uh, contingent of uh, Syrian Arab coalition fighters. Uh, they've fought uh, their way down uh, to the western part uh, in isolating Raqqa, and they've moved very close to the Topka Dam. Uh, they've liberated thousands of kilometers of territory from Daesh, including thousands of people from that tyranny, and this is good progress in isolating uh, Raqqa. Uh, of course, uh, Colonel Dorian, so to, uh, to what extent do you think that you, that you weaken the Daesh? Well, Daesh is definitely on the back foot. When they came into Syria and Iraq, they moved into both countries with large columns of fighters with black flags flying uh, and heavy equipment. Those days are long over. Now they're buried uh, beneath uh, a, a lot of bombs, and uh, they've been on the back foot. They've been pushed out of key areas. They've lost Fallujah. Uh, they've lost Manbij. They've lost Ramadi. Uh, and they're in the process of losing uh, uh, Mosul, and they're also going to lose Raqqa. Uh, all these areas, good progress is being made, uh, and they've lost their ability uh, to uh, take the advance against uh, either of our partners in either country. Are there any estimations of the, like the duration of the Battle of Mosul? Some people, they say that maybe it will take the whole winter and will end maybe before summer. Well, Prime Minister Abadi said he thinks uh, it's possible to get the operation done in about three months. Uh, we agree with his assessment. We think that that's possible to do it. But one of the most important things here is that it be done in a manner that protects civilian life. So the Iraqis have done a very good job in this area. They've fought very bravely, and they've conducted themselves in a manner that's intended to protect civilians, either, even under very dangerous circumstances. We've followed this uh, same procedure. We've been very careful and deliberate in the strikes that we've conducted. We use only precision-guided munitions and all of our strikes are approved and coordinated by the government of Iraq. So good progress being made. So the operations in battle, will it start simultaneously with Mosul or after the, the battle is over in Mosul? Well, right now what we're doing with Raqqa is uh, we're isolating the city. And at the same time, we continue to do uh, discussions and deliberations with our partners in the region. This is uh, our NATO ally, Turkey, and we continue to work with the Syrian Democratic Forces. And what we're doing is we're working with all of our partners to determine the force that will go in and liberate Raqqa. At the same time, we continue to isolate it so that uh, the enemy cannot use that city as a launching point, a command and control node, for the conduct of international uh, terror attacks because that's what they had done previously. So we have to stop that from happening. That's why we've isolated the city. Uh, we'll continue working in Mosul as well to liberate that city. Um, we may get to the point where both are being conducted at the same time, 
this is a good situation for uh, all involved who are against Dash because this gives Dash more problems than they have the command and control ability to solve. And this is uh, one of the reasons why we've made such good progress here recently. Uh, Colonel Dorian, so um, the, the operation that took place in Deir Zor, the ground operation, do you think that it will expand and maybe include Arraqa as well? And what will it target really? Well, we've seen a lot of uh, activity by the enemy in Deir Azor. Uh, the Syrian regime and the Russians have uh, taken action against uh, uh, Daesh in this area. We've con continued to conduct strikes all over Syria against any Daesh fighters or Daesh targets that we've been able to find. And this includes their oil uh, um, infrastructure, and this stops them from being able to make money while we continue to isolate Raqqa and we'll continue to push them out of any area where we see uh, that they've taken root. Our partners have been very effective in doing this. We continue to train and add additional fighters to that group, uh, and this is good progress. So this is, uh, this is the, the way ahead. Uh, now the regions that are liberated in Mosul, how are they secure? Uh, how are they secured? Do you participate maybe in mine sweeping so the, the civilians can return to them? Well, the first thing that happens is that Dash gets pushed out. Uh, behind the liberated areas, what happens is the Iraqi security forces will bring in a hold force. And this is local uh, Nineveh fighters and police, and they'll hold these areas so that Daesh can't re-infiltrate uh, and use uh, sleeper cells to try and, you know, get control of the city or conduct terror attacks. Once this part has been done, then this enables the international community to come in and help Iraq with the removal of the explosive remnants of war. That's these booby traps and mines and things that Daesh have left everywhere where they've had control. As soon as these can be removed, we'll do that. This is the same plan that was uh, conducted in Ramadi. More than 300,000 people have been able to return to their homes in Ramadi, and more than 22,000 kilograms of explosive materials have been removed from that city so far. There's still some work to be done. Mosul is a very large city, so it'll take some time for this uh, explosive material to be removed. Uh, but this is the plan, and the International Coalition is going to help Iraq with this plan. You are dealing in Iraq uh, with the Iraqi forces. If we talk about Iraq, who are your allies there? Yeah, for Iraq, we're working with the Syrian Democratic Forces, and they have a contingent of Arab fighters from the area that they're building. Uh, it's called the Syrian Arab Coalition. Uh, these are the fighters that are going to go into the city, ultimately the Syrian Arab Coalition, uh, because we believe that any of the, uh, the forces that are going to liberate the city should reflect the demographic makeup of the city, because that, that's what uh, legitimizes the force in the eyes of the people that are being liberated, and that's one of the reasons why uh, we're working with a lot of Syrian Arabs to move into the city, and this is an important principle that we've used successfully in both uh, Syria and in Iraq. So uh, now uh, President Trump uh, will, uh, will be in power. Will the strategy change maybe in fighting Daesh? Well, I'm not going to speak for President Trump. He'll bring in a team to make the determination if there are any policy changes that are required. One of the things that's very important to understand for all involved, though, is that the defeat of Daesh is in our national interest. It's in the interests of all of the coalition nations in the world. That's why we were able to build a giant international coalition with more than 60 countries, all uh, with the interest in fighting and defeating Daesh. So this is uh, the way ahead. Uh, President Trump will come in, his national security team will observe the situation and see if there are any refinements that are needed for the policy. 
Uh, but for now, good progress is being ma made and we'll continue that progress. You are with us from Baghdad, the spokesman for the anti-Daesh coalition, Colonel John Dorian. Thank you very much for being with us. Very good to be with you. Thank you.